we just pray for abundant blessings on this marriage and, and on this ceremony right now would you just be with these two would you be present among all of us right now as, as you join these two to one and when eyes they Adrian, on this day, I want to hold up high the richest of love God has for both of us and how he could have not blessed us more in our relationship. He has given me a man that has not only led me to a place of faith where I can see the unlocked doors he has placed in front of me, but also a man that allows me to learn from both opening and closing those same doors. You are the most kind and courageous human being, and I'm so glad I have the rest of my life to learn from you and to grow with you. I'm not a perfect man. I've asked God so many times, what did I do to deserve someone so loving? Someone so quick to forgive? What did I do to deserve someone so caring? Someone who will stick with me, even though I make the same mistakes. Someone so perfectly fit to love me. He responded, Adrian, this is how I love you every day. But you have a hard time believing that. So I'm giving you a gift, a physical representation of my love for you, to remind you every day how much I love you. some of the greatest times that I can know and say was with my best friend. In this marriage, I vow to love you unconditionally. I vow to be the wife you need and the woman of God you need. I vow to forgive you when you turn up the radio when I start singing along to it. <laughs> and to even take care of you when you were sick from the spoiled food that you ate that I told you to put in the fridge two days ago. <laughs> I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives enjoying the life God has so thoughtfully paid for us. I love you so much, Adrian. I'll never stop fighting and living for our awesome marriage. Yeah. I don't think you were born perfect for me. I don't believe that. You've gone through a lot of hardships, a lot of struggles. But I believe every one of those struggles has formed you into the amazing woman you are that stands before me today. Well, when I'm proud to call my wife. Baby, I'm not a perfect man. But I serve a perfect God. And he's given me a perfect woman. And with all that I am, I promise to protect you. But most of all, I promise to never stop being the spiritual leader you deserve. To walk with you day by day, step by step, and encouraging you to be the extraordinary woman of God for destiny. Because of the promises that you have made to each other before God and all these witnesses, I declare you husband and wife. Adrian, you may now kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Adrian and Hannah Arseniega.
our chance Take it now 